what is your assessment of this deal? And one of the big questions here in Taiwan is how worried should people be about the country losing its competitive advantage in the sector? TSMC done a good job in negotiating because, like you know, from TSMC's perspective, it avoid the tariff. It also help its customers to avoid the tariff. So you are basically doing a deal that avoid the geopolitical threat. While at the same time to satisfy your demand of the customers, right? But I want to be very clear here is that there's no specific timeline for this three more fabs and two packaging firm and one more R and D center. So this gives flexibility for TSMC to sort of like kind of manage their financial capital spending moving forward. So it's sort of like harder to quantify, you know, like how worried people should be. But I think the key question here is like, oh, so right now, you know, let's forecast ten years later. It's expected we have more advanced manufacturing in the United States, and then you know that indirectly will erode Taiwan's strategic value in the event of Chinese invasion of Taiwan. But the latest deal, uh, I think currently people are speculating because there's a new R and D center will be established in Arizona, right? So people are worried worried that well, so you have a new process now in Taiwan, for example, let's say the A14 or A16, right? It could be deployed at the same time as Taiwan deploy X16 or A14, right? So that's the concern people have. Like, oh, right now, like Taiwan don't have that kind of like quote unquote R and D advantage, like uh, moving forward. But we really need to see like how TSMC plan all of this. So it looks like TSMC's additional investment will keep going to Arizona. What do you think about that decision? I mean, it's had a tough go in its first phase of investments there. It's faced delays, labor issues. Certainly, you know, if you look at the P one, right, the first、uh, Arizona plant, it faced a lot of regulatory management, you know, a lot of issues over there. We are very, very aware of that. I do think the fact that moving forward, it will be actually be easier, right? Like kind of TSMC, they can st-、uh, start getting familiar with the regulatory process, so that will be easier for them to navigate. And certain the culture. It will be easier. I think the bigger concern will be the talents. There's also the good, the the upside here, because like if you have bigger expense, uh, bigger presence of TSMC, right? It gives TSMC opportunity to, I won't say steal, uh, but attract the talents from firms like, uh, IBM, firms from Intel, right, or other material firms like a Prime Material, Lam Research. Right, that's actually helping TSMC for their R and D or for their broader like talents pool. Another target Taiwan has on its back with Trump is its large trade surplus. Do you think Taiwan's tactic of encouraging more investment to the U.S. now TSMC's hundred billion dollar pledge、um, there is that enough? But also, when, if ever, will it be enough? This is a good question. I think you know I certainly couldn't give you the answer or make any conclusion on like whether this can satisfy Trump. But I certainly think like you know it's a approach that you must take, right? You couldn't just tell Trump like, hey, like we are not going to invest anything. Eventually, what you are going to get is gaining tariff, right? So it's very important to show like, hey, like we are we would love to continue to trade with the United States, but at the same time we would love to you know making like investment after proper calculations. Uh, when it comes to the business side, I'm not sure the governments have put enough effort on this because I certainly feel like you know private sectors is always leading the efforts on this. The Lai administration, you know, the current ruling government has been very supportive to the expanding investment for Taiwanese companies in the United States. That's fine, but like, what can we really get back from? U.S. governments, right? Whether it's support from military, it's support from di- diplomatically, or it's support economically. I think we need to be very clear on what we can get back, right? You don't want to just like give a lot of things and without getting back anything.